Skate and Create is a contest. It consists of four shoe teams. They come into a warehouse for eight or nine days, six man teams. Four pros, two AMs, one videographer, one photographer. They get to do a three to five minute piece on the eight days and the article goes in the magazine. That's basically it in a nutshell. Everything that they skate is, it's all things, it's, it's made like little Legos, but they're ramps and they all kind of like fit together in weird ways. The ramps are made off site by Ramp Works, did them this year. They got delivered, they got dropped off Saturday, uh, Sunday and then they're just sitting in the middle of the warehouse so when the teams come in they just they see them in you know they're, they're not set up they're just in a sort of a sort of stagnant form and then they get to move the pieces around and make whatever they want. There's Adidas going first, Fallen going, Mackay and then Etnies, Etnies are going in last. I started yesterday 29th of March it finishes at the 30th, 31st of May. The big thing that we wanted to do with our Skate and Create for this year was not rely on one thematic device, like not just yeah. one set, one location, one concept. We wanted to do the best that we could to try and push that, not just rely on this singular idea and approach every set of obstacles with a new, a new idea, a new approach, a new way of filming things, a new way of painting things or getting art onto things. We did want to have a constant theme running through it, which is just minimal color blocking, very, very simplistic artwork, very like boiled down, refined concepts, abstract shapes, you know, simple approach. And we just wanted to focus on like Transworld's given us this location, Transworld's given us these ramps, and we're just going to let it be. It is what it is. Don't need to be afraid of it. It's pretty intense, like a lot of time we spent here in the warehouse, something like 14, 15 hours, working hard to like 2, two, two o'clock at night, but um, the team did really well, especially under the circumstances being kind of like trapped in a warehouse, and here's not a lot of abstraction, so you hang out in the hotel or skate, yeah. and it was good that they all dealt with that part, and then um, Salas did an amazing job of painting the, the ramps and being involved in like yeah, building stuff, and he was the first guy on the set and the last one who, who left. Yeah, I, I'm just like the laborer, I'm like the grunt worker laborer, I do all the painting and hauling and moving and stuff like that, which is fine, you know. Two days before I came to Skate and Create, and I was just skating around and my ankle popped, and I don't know exactly what happened, but it hurt really bad, and I was able to walk, and I mean, walking around, normal day-to-day -day movements are just fine, but it's just like, if I misstep or like there's certain movements, fast like movements, hurt super bad, so it was just basically makes it so I can't skate, but I can do pretty much everything else. Union service. At the beginning of Skate and Create, we set it up where we're like, each guy is basically assigned one obstacle creation on their own. And it pretty much worked out for the most part. I think a few guys didn't really get their exact obstacle built, but Mark's was, Mark's obstacle was entirely dreamed up by himself. There's a piece of paper out there somewhere where he just drew it out. Well, this guy, JT, had like what we needed pretty much, the dolly. And but we wanted to not have too many dolly shots just because it's so trendy now in skate videos. <laughs> Handheld tripod, yeah. Skate, a little bit of, you know, skating. I just heard stories of people losing their rag, like fucking stressing out each other, just fucking losing it. So I like, I thought it was gonna be pretty grueling, yeah, hard work. Yeah. To be honest, I thought we'd be skating more. It's, it's a lot more like, about them setting up the right lighting and the right camera angles and the right shots like that as opposed to just like cramming in as many tricks as you can, you know. Yeah. So I think from a creative standpoint it was a lot more grueling for us than if we had one idea throughout the whole film. We just always had to be on our toes every day, all nine days. Every time something set up, like, okay, what are we going to do? Oh my god, scramble, get this done. And that's what sucked for the skateboarders is because they're sitting around waiting for us art guys to get our shit together and they're out just like sitting around killing time. <laughs> yeah, the, the team, extremely mellow group of guys, you know, like like nobody freaking out, nobody really like having any any um, fits, you know, it's been really mellow, real mellow group of guys. I was like really impressed with how easy the whole shoot's been. It's fun, it's tiring, but it's cool like. It's cool 
being involved and seeing the creative part of it. The most important thing for me is that, um, that there's a good, good atmosphere with the team because you spend so much time on trips, on projects like that. It's really important that it's a good spirit when you're on a team. We've been on a lot of trips together, like I'm sure every team has, but everyone has, is really humble and like even if you know like the best skaters or the big pros down to anybody like there's no egos really so Nesta Nesta for sure he's just been destroying everything man he's just got a good trick for like pretty much every obstacle yeah and Lem as well Lem's got loads of footage yeah he's been skating really good I think overall this is definitely one of those things where if you ask anybody involved right now, if they do it again next year, they'd say, fuck no. <laughs> but like a month from now, you know, once we see that at a piece and we've all gone home and relaxed and decompressed, we'd probably all say yes. The most important part is that you get in and you try to enjoy it and, and treat it like a, almost like a campaign and not like a competition. If you go in like, we've got to win, we're going to lose, you, you can't go in with that attitude. you just got to go in and get your stuff done and try to enjoy it as much as you can.